For most people, ice seems pretty common. It's an everyday item that you find in your freezer. And yet, ice breaks all of the rules that we learn when we study chemistry, when we study physics. It's really about how ice is one of the weirdest materials in our world, and we take it completely for granted. And what I want to do is to show just how strange ice is, and how important ice is to us. I want to show you one of the strangest things that you will ever see in your lives. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it into to melt. So, here we go. Are you ready? If I, you know, just get my safety glasses on. Very important when doing demonstrations. You can drop it in, and I want you to watch what happens. It's amazing. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, why on earth did I come to the Royal Society's website to see some idiot show me that ice floats in water? But I have a challenge for you today. I want you to name one other molecular material in which the solid floats on its metal. And I would contend that ice and water are completely unique in doing this. Send me your Twitter messages. I am Sela the Chemist. Tweet me and let's see.